Hi, my name is Newell Davis with Wormaculture, and here it is, our week 13 update for our new bin. Although, as I said, I think last time it's not that new anymore. And last time we added some different things that you normally wouldn't add to a bin, such as pineapple. And we're going to take a look and see how that's doing, as well as add some new bedding and add some food to the top. I want to show you what happens when you add food to the top, which is why we're going to do that in this episode. So let's go to the bin here. So, all right, now... What I have here, actually, let me move this just a little bit closer so you can see it a little better. There we go. So here's our bin. And it's starting to dry out a little bit. There's only a little bit of moisture on the top. So that's uh, that's surprising to me. I thought that would still be pretty moist, but it's actually starting to dry out a little bit. You can see a little bit of water over here, but the center's pretty dry. Um, Oh, we got some fruit flies in here, it looks like, which I'm not surprised. I don't have a whole lot of bedding in here, so they can get in and out pretty easily. A couple worms over here, a little bit of some sort of white starch powder, it looks like, or uh, it might be some sort of eggs, too. I don't know. I've never seen that before in one of either, any of my bins. Lots of fruit flies, though. Okay, so we're going to have to definitely add bedding this time, which is why I brought the bedding out. Now, let's just take a look here and see what's in here. So we've got worms over here, and... Let's see, is this where the, there's the pineapple, so the pine, right above the pineapple is where we have this uh, coating of white, of white stuff. So I don't know what, the, as I said, I'm not sure what that is, it's a, uh, looks to be, it looks like it's a growth of some sort, so some sort of a uh, fungal that's kind of attacking this. There's lots of, it looks like, I don't know if you can see this in here, let's see, I'll pull that to the side here, it looks like there's lots of mites on the pineapple. We're going to zoom in here, see if you can see this here. Uh, it's not going to focus with that close. I'm not sure you can see it, but there's lots of little tiny mites on here, it looks like, on the pineapple. Um, I do see some worms over here. Let me just grab a... Using the, my cultivator here. And I'm just going to kind of rip this up a little bit. All right, there's lots of... Ooh, lots of, lots of bugs underneath here, you can see. Uh, looks like those are... Uh, either mites or springtails or something like that. But I do see some worms under here, surprisingly. Um, so there are some worms in there in this section of the bin, but lots of lots of bugs are attacking the uh, pineapple because that's how it's going to break down. It's not the worms aren't going to be able to eat everything right off of it. It's more acidic, uh, you know. So they're they're not going to be able to just eat it right away. So they're definitely being attacked by other stuff, which I'm not surprised. But I just wanted to show you that these could this pineapple in here can break down with. Uh, in a worm bin. So it's not something you should not put in, but you definitely want to make sure that you have other food in your bin and you definitely want to make sure that you give them time to work through it. It's going to take them a while. It doesn't happen overnight. So now what we're going to do is we're going to actually cover this back up. Uh, check over here a little bit too. I see, I can see some banana peels on this side. So that's a banana peel with some worms on it, but there's, that's still uh, actually a lot of worms inside here. Right inside the banana peel, there's a ton of worms. Let's see, see, zoom in and see that too. See all the worms in there? Whole bunch of worms in the banana peel, which isn't surprising. They love banana peels, but the outside can be a little tough for them. So, all right, now we're going to cover this back up. We're going to do something a little different this time that I haven't done really with this. We're going to add a lot of bedding. So we're going to add a lot of bedding to the top here. Because especially with the fruit flies, it's going to help alleviate that issue. This is how I've done this in the past. Just kind of cover up everything. It's going to get rid of some of the moisture in here. It's not too moist, though. I have to say, this is actually a pretty good moisture content level. But we're going to do something a little different here. So, one thing I do a lot, and I'm going to show you here, is I do what I like to call top feeding. And instead of putting all of my stuff in the bin... I'll put it on the top. Whew. All right. This has a, this is all frozen. I just put it right through the chopper, and it's still pretty frozen in here. So there's going to be a high moisture content. This is a mixture of pumpkin, strawberries, and broccoli, and uh, nothing. No pineapple in this. I was debating on putting some pineapple, but I thought I should uh, probably leave that alone a little bit. You know, since I already have pineapple in here. So we're going to take this out center section, and we're just going to scatter this all over the top here. Now, I know a lot of you are probably saying, well, why are you doing a top feeding? And the answer is, is when you do a top feeding, one thing that's kind of an advantage with top feeding is we'll get the worms to move through the bin. 
especially this new cardboard I just put on top. It'll get them to come up, get the food, and then go back down. So that way they move the bedding all around the bin. I can get this last bit out here. Nope, all right. Well, but that's going to get them to move all through the bin here. And the advantage of that is they're going to bring the cardboard up, they're going to move it around, they're going to get everything nice and mixed. Because what you don't want to do is have this just, I mean, I, well, unless you're trying to combat fruit flies, which normally I would do in this bin, but uh, I thought I'd keep going with my updates, is that normally what you want to do is you want to try to get the worms to come up through the, the cardboard and then go back down. That's why they mix it up and they get everything composting using their the, the, the unique microbes. So that's what you really want them to do. So they're, they're not going to do that, though, if there's no food and there's nothing for them to eat. They can eat the cardboard, but it takes a while for that to break down. This makes it where they're going to move up through it. They're going to eat a little bit of the cardboard with the microbes on it. They're going to eat some of the food, and then they're going to go back down. I'll put some, move it around, and it'll slowly work its way into the soil if you had this outside, but or into the bin in here. So I hope you enjoyed. This is our week 13 update. And when we come back, we'll also take a look and see how these fruit flies are doing, too. And then we might actually have to... Uh, as you can see, there's still some fly like on here. We might have to uh, close this up a little bit and see if we can get rid of those. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you again next week.